Welcome back to another episode of Disaster Diaries. So I told you guys I was going to pick right back up from where we left off in the last one because there is about to be a lot going on. First and foremost, let's do our notification shout out and this one goes to Hannah. Thank you so, so much for your comment. I'm going to read it out here because it's definitely very interesting and plays a big part in how I think the next part of the story is going to go. So even though Avely and Huxton recently got divorced, I feel like Huxton would manipulate Esme and convince her to let him move in with her. In her eyes, it would be like she won Huxton, but in reality, it's just Huxton using Esme for a place to live and potentially bring a woman back to the house. So this is exactly what I was thinking would happen because Esme really, really wants Huxton and he does kind of like keep on stringing her along. I feel like what's he actually doing right now? Oh, he decided to eat over here by himself and he's getting new likes. What? Do you stink right now? What the hell is making you stink right now, dude? What the fuck? Uh, she's like, you are disgusting. Oh my god. Oh my god, Avely. <laughs> Avely is making sure to show her anger right in front of Huxton. She said, done with this. Splitting up. Yes, let's split up. Avely is done with this relationship. So yeah, you guys know they're broken up. He now needs to get the fuck out, basically. She's gonna go over here to him for a second. Why is everyone stinking? I'm actually confused. So we're gonna go to um let's do mean and we're gonna do arguments oh oh wait what okay we're skipping this right now i mean the plan is that she's staying at her friend's house for a few days and honestly she's been getting high a lot and just like going through it there's no freaking way she's showing up to prom just gonna say that right now like the timing right now no so we're gonna have her skip <laughs> okay so I, what why do they eat this and then they stink honestly i don't know is it your clothes that are what i don't know what's going on but am i an idiot what is smelling because she i don't know you guys i don't know <laughs> but regardless we are gonna have her do what i was trying to do so let's go ahead and go to mean and we're gonna go to didn't they already divorce oh do we still have to officially divorce hold on wait because obviously we did that with the mod. I love how it specifically says cheated on Avely. Like what? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I love, love, love this. It'll say divorcing. Avely and Huxton are in the process of getting divorced. Okay. So if you use the relationship pregnancy overhaul mod, definitely recommend. It's not just going to be like one and done. And I love that. So here we can finalize the divorce. You can also, we can't do this, but go settle splitting of estate. So it says Avely and the other Sim Evolved must move out and create their own household first. A divorce doesn't happen overnight. You know what I mean? Like she wants a divorce. She let him know that like, I'm done with you. I don't think we're going to go finalize the divorce yet. I think we're going to ask him to move out permanently, but still first, like she's yelling at him. absolutely. freaking -lutely. So we're going to go to, I mean, we're going to go to arguments and we're going to go to, we're going to ask him what his problem is because yeah dude what the fuck is your problem like actually so i feel kind of bad though because wait you're here can, can we get him out of here i mean well maybe okay you know what just talk to her everyone just has the stink thing up <laughs> You know what? Hold on. Sorry, I keep pausing, but like, I am like very, I feel very strongly. Oh, they're in a group already. Who's in the group? Oh, hey, okay. it's just her. Okay, go over here, go over here. Like, let's go swing on the swings together. Or maybe we can, yeah, okay, go play with that together. All right, so, oh. I really don't like you very much right now. Just feeling bitter over a few things that I'll get over eventually or not. Bruh. <laughs> He's so for real right now. Like he said that to her. You're kidding me, right? He said it. That's what it looks like. I don't know. Maybe she said it. I don't know. Um, desiring. Wow. Ready to fight. Okay. Well, we're not about to fight her. Like that would be like something else. How are we even family from difficult family dynamic? Go brush your teeth, dude. So she is going to make sure he gets the heck out of here. <laughs> Insult phase. Okay. Hold on. Um, here we go. And then makeup and breakup. And we're going to ask to, to move out permanently. Oh, is that what he stinks for because of his freaking breath? Is that what's happening here? I feel like he should take some money with him because they do both work. I feel like we could like almost split it. Well, actually, I do think she should keep a little more because she has the kids. 
And I know he just had a baby, but like, is he really like going to provide for that baby? Come on. So I think we'll do, and like, he's going to move in with Esme and Esme does already have some money. So I'm like, do we do just like 10K? Okay, we'll do it like that. That that seems like fair just because like Esme does have cash. And yeah, he'll be going there anyways. I was gonna like do 15 or like 14K or something. But no, I think we'll keep it this way. So 10. And yeah, now he's officially moved out. Oh my God. Okay, and then it brings you here. And what you can do is just straight up move them into wherever. <gasps> what? You're already an infant? Are you? You're, you're, uh, I'm speechless. What the heck? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, see, this is why, like, I love rotational gameplay, but also, oh my god, let me tell you guys, when she was pregnant, I was so scared she was gonna give birth before I made my way back to her household. Luckily, we were fine there, but like, oh my god. <gasps> Wait, oh my goodness. I'm excited. We have to go into creatism. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I mean, it makes sense. The baby stage is like super, super short, and we did get to see her as a baby, so it's okay. And like, you know, newborns can't do much anyways. I'm talking so much because now I'm just like, oh, can't wait. Okay. What? What do you mean? We literally, what? No, no, no. Like, I just want to move. This like should work out just fine, and I'm kind of no oh it wants to oh i just want to move you in with her is that not a thing shouldn't we just be able can i just do like will it work if i do the free real estate right now but i mean it would make okay it did work i was gonna say because he would be moving in with her for free like you know there wouldn't be anything to pay there she'd be like yeah come move in all right so he's officially moved in with esme so we're automatically brought over here and the first thing we need to do what the fuck dude why do you like is it this? I, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna have you brush your teeth. <laughs> we're gonna head into criticism. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh wait, what trait did she get? Cautious. Oh, I actually feel like that makes sense. Okay, see, I actually Loki really like that she aged up without me knowing because then I just feel like she got the trait she was meant to have. Like, I don't know. And there was nothing else we needed to accomplish anyways. Like, you know, newborns, don't have anything they need to accomplish in the game. So like, it's fine. I think she, okay, first of all, I don't know who she looks like more. Does she have a skin on? Because I'm actually curious. She does. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. Oh, okay, that didn't really make much of a difference. Oh, there we go. She had multiple skins on. Okay, because I wanna see what she really looks like now. Look at that. I feel like that skin does a lot. I wanna put my like favorite skin on her, I think. So this one's like so perfect for infants. I mean, hopefully it looks good on her, but usually this is what I use for infants. But anyways, this is no skin. And okay, I feel like she looks like a mix of both of them now that I can really see. Also, I know you guys are like, don't change the eyebrows when they're little. It's gonna like make the eyebrows like weird when they age up, but I need to do something. Or you know what? I don't think it's the, I think it's just, I mean, they look cute, but I'm thinking I just want to like move them. Or can we not with her? Okay, there. See, that's all I need to do. Um, if it looks weird when she ages up, I'll go ahead and fix them more. It's okay. She is so cute. Wait, did she get his eyes? I think so, right? Yeah, okay, so she got his eyes. And I think, did you get, I feel like she got her nose? Yeah, maybe. I don't know, we're gonna see when she ages up, but honestly, this hair is really cute on her, so we might keep it. I don't know, I don't use this hair very often, but like, obviously, also, it's tempting to use, like, I don't know, like, this one. <laughs> but I feel like I use those a lot. Honestly, I want to get some more infant hairs. I just feel like, uh, actually, I, we need to get some more, like, I literally would love an infant kit. I'm not even like about kits, but this is really cute, I have to say. But I feel like I've used it a lot before, but like, okay, does anyone else overuse this one? It's just like too perfect. This is like a different variation of it and that's really cute. And I feel like I haven't used that for a while. Like, do we do that? I don't know why her face, like she seems like a pink bow type of girl. Like that's what I just feel like Esme would dress her in. So I kind of feel like we need to go for that. But anyways, going back to the skin, let me see, does my favorite skin look good on her? Let's see. It just gives them more of like an infant look. Some people might not like it. I don't know if I like it on her actually. I put it on like every single infant. I, if I was to go with it, I would definitely go for that one. It just makes the transition from infant to toddlers like a lot bigger. I feel like like her face already probably looks similar to how she's going to look as a toddler. 
But when you add this on, like it really makes them look younger in my opinion and really have that infant look. Should we give her a birthmark? That could be really cute. Like, do we do that? I don't know. Oh, it is really cute. Okay, I'm gonna do those ones and then I'm just gonna add those for like every single one. Okay, so I thought I would just speed that up and here is her little makeover. So I definitely feel like you can tell that Esme dresses her. <laughs> and I was trying so hard to find a hair that kind of like resembled what this would look like if it was taken down. And this is like the best I could do. I do kind of feel like this is what her hair would look like taken down. Yeah. Yeah, like I feel like it's just starting to get some length to it you know she and like yeah that's not perfect I wanted like something a little bit different but I just feel like this was the closest I could get and I guess like yeah it's pretty similar so I hope you guys like her I definitely feel like she looks like Esme's daughter okay so oh she has familiar space from Kaja Street Huxley always feels so comfortable at home it's a familiar space I can seriously see like exactly why she would be cautious so she must have like just aged up because all she has is like born at the hospital she has had her first smile but that is pretty much it literally so that makes me excited because i am curious how she's gonna be and everything and the exciting part is her room is like already done i know she just literally um sleeps in esme's room we're gonna go ahead and put huxley down here and then we're gonna have him come in here he is actually freaking exhausted <laughs> but i don't think he wants to go to sleep yet so she actually doesn't have a coffee maker and i kind of feel like he'd want a coffee right now so we're gonna go ahead and get him one or we have the home barista which I feel like fits pretty well in this kitchen. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna set that there. I just feel like it matches the aesthetic here and we're gonna go ahead and get him a coffee. So we're gonna make a coffee and we're gonna do, let's do a fancy one. We're gonna go real fancy. We're gonna get this one here. Oh, Huxley is neurodivergent. Okay, so that means that the Sims brain functions differently than most other Sims of the same age. Okay. Oh, wait, we have stuff to do. Yeah, because she just aged up. Huxley should visit the doctor for her well visit for toddlers and children. So should we do this then? Let's see. So we're gonna go to, Is the, I'm pretty sure this is what we need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, why are you feeling dazed? Aw. Sorrowful streams, the weight of the world seems to rest on Esme's shoulders and it's spilling over in silvery uh, streams. It's hard to hide the sadness when your eyes tell the story. Oh my god, see, it's so easy to feel bad for her, you guys. Like, honestly, I, like, like I said, I do think motherhood is gonna change her. One of you guys did point out that you're glad I'm not just like only hating on Huxton because in this specific situation, obviously it's different depending, like sometimes the girl doesn't know about the other girl but in this case that she did know and like their neighbors and like they would hang out at the pool and stuff so i think it's only fair to have them both be in the blame i mean oh. huxton's still more to at blame just because like he was literally her husband but yeah i think it's important to like show both sides and not just like give esme all the slack like you know what i mean like 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 let her off the hook with nothing you know i I think both of them are definitely in the wrong here. I also even think it's wrong for her to let him move in like this and like act like it's whatever, like who cares? When Avalie just kicked him out and like she's well aware that like, Esme is well aware that he's a cheater and everything, like I don't know. So he's decided to watch some TV. Oh my God, I missed The Sims 3. <laughs> And we're just gonna wait. There's nothing really for him to do down here. To be honest, I feel like, oh, actually, I was gonna say, he could like try to make a good impression and vacuum because it does look a little dusty. You know, it's all about like playing with her head, I feel like. I keep hearing Huxley, but like, I don't know, it's weird. I think he's glitching. Oh, should we um apply baby proofing so that yeah we probably should do that let's supply baby proofing for that door and then i guess this door as well wait okay i don't know she's back and then you're not back i don't know what's going on but she's literally just on the floor you're vacuuming her oh my gosh okay so your infant is a little scared after this medical appointment cuddles will comfort your infant oh okay let's comfort her like you're useless what are you doing okay so we're gonna cuddle her i also think she oh gas trouble wait are you actually gonna like communicate with her I mean, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm also thinking that she's going to be going to to visit the doctor, like the thing with the neurodivergent and stuff. 
that's like a whole mod that I have. And I think, or no, wait, can she go to the doctor now? Or does she have to wait until she's a toddler? I don't know. Because here we can go to mental health services, but isn't it just going to bring up stuff for her? Oh, wait, there's behavioral therapy. Okay, we're just going to leave this for now. And we're going to like figure that out. They have 40k. She's really tired. We're going to put her to bed for the night. So we're going to go ahead and, oh, we should like upgrade this too. But let's go ahead and put her to sleep. Hopefully she sleeps okay. Like, I don't know if she's going to get any quirks that just, you know, make her have a rough time sleeping or anything. So, oh, she's so cute. Stop. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try to get her down for the night. We're going to go ahead and tell a bedtime story and soothe to sleep. Oh, and then she's going to go over and try to talk to Huxton. Where are you even going? Like, what? No, it's freaking 11 o'clock at night. Like, nah, we're going to sit here. Ooh, quirk revealed gassy. Huxley, oh, has some tummy issues. Oh my goodness. Okay, that makes me feel so bad that it's like her first quirk. So she definitely might have some trouble sleeping. That's for sure. He cannot stay still. Like, calm down. <laughs> Okay, so let's go over to him and we're just gonna see like how he will take things. Like we're gonna go to romance and we're gonna go ahead and go to flirtation. Oh, she can't do a lot because she's not feeling that great. Ooh, wait, what are you about to do? What are you doing? What? Okay, they're just chatting. She's so upset. Oh, okay, hold on. So we have no offense from ADHD. Esme just feels like no one understands what she's going through and how it affects her. She really doesn't mean to offend or upset anyone. Sometimes her issues just get the better of her. Aw, what was I doing from ADHD? Esme feels so distracted and unfocused. What was she just doing? What was that thought? Oh, she's struggling so much. And like, honestly with her, like just having a baby recently, I know now she's an infant, but like it happens so fast. Doesn't she have meds though, right? Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and take your medication girl because I don't think you did that. So we're gonna do that for her. He's feeling very focused from cleaning, but also he has seeing an appealing sim. Why do I think he would just try to like hook up with her right now? Like I kind of feel like he would, however, like she can't be getting pregnant again. Do you think she would go on birth control? I don't know, like he has condoms and like they should get used. I do not want her to get pregnant again. I don't know. <laughs> She better not, but he does have condoms, so we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna cross our fingers. But I do think, like, she's feeling sad, and he's, like, thinking she looks hot right now, so, uh, they're gonna go with him. I mean, that's exactly what he would do, and of course, she would be totally okay with that. So they're gonna have their fun. We need to get rid of this bassinet. Oh my gosh, she's feeling so flirty. <laughs> Huxton is wearing a rosy tint of romance. It's, it's a warm glow that might just invite some curious glances of, and, or spark new connections. I have this like some life mod back in my game which i need to do a video on because yeah like the full mods back now and it's like you know keeps being updated i think there's actually another update that just came out why didn't i realize that this fan is like a pink plum bob like this that's that's actually so pretty okay so after the woohoo she got right out of bed she can't sleep you know she's feeling all sorts of different ways she's feeling hurt right now oh my god she's also feeling inspired though i'm wondering if she wants to like get into something that kind of lets that creativity out you guys she has so much going on for her like the fact that she has appealing salty open-minded romantic outgoing tender meningitis immune <laughs> Prefers non-exclusive romantic relationships. I mean, yeah, that makes freaking sense. She has the ADHD, strong immune system, would be happy to have a child, prefers bottle feeding, tuberculosis, immune trait, alluring, jester, lover, fear of being cheated on, which like, <laughs> girl, come on. <laughs> Oh my god, like how oblivious can you be? So I don't know why she's wanting to clean up right now. We do have responsible woohooing, so that's a good sign. I guess we'll let her wash these dishes and then he is sleeping for the night. So I might have him actually no, we'll just wait till he ha like really has to pee. She's probably gonna wake up in the middle of the night for a bottle feeding. And yeah, she just like kind of can't sleep. It's 1 a.m. She's gonna just go ahead and like make some bottles. Um, I do like based on your guys' comments and stuff, and she's not in any pain anymore. You guys were saying like if she does get in pain again like she'd probably just pump and dump so we could definitely do that to like relieve the pain or we can also get her some Tylenol with the Pandasama mod you can take that to kind of like relieve some pain but it seems like she's gonna be okay because she okay so with the mod 
I mean, it also just makes sense in general. If you are like pumping and breastfeeding, it's gonna like make you produce more. And I think because we didn't, it kind of just like reduced her supply. So like she's been fine. She might not need to pump like at all ever again, but we're just gonna go ahead and ha like make sure she has some bottles in the fridge. She wants to go cry it out, stop. Dude, <laughs> now she's, <laughs> Oh my god, poor girl. She's going through it right now. Like her emotions, I just feel like are all over the place. I think she will try to get some rest. Like she might not be able to sleep much, but I think she knows like, okay, like Huxley's gonna be awake in a few hours. I should definitely try to get some sleep. Okay, and what do you know? She is awake at 5.30 in the morning as expected. So we're gonna get her up and we're gonna go ahead. Okay, wait, I want to specifically feed her like the formula. Oh, we can also do this. We can give homeopathy. Oh my God, I can't wait till we can do that. Okay, wait, we're gonna need to go get a bottle from the fridge. Okay, yeah. Living for the realism, like actually. So she's gonna go and get some formula milk and hurry, hurry because Huxley is crying. And I feel like low key, I feel like her main concern, like Esme's is waking up Huxton with the baby. Like, I don't know. I feel like she has this idea in her head that she just wants to like satisfy Huxton in every way, shape, and form. I don't know how he's not waking up. Like I would think so, but I don't know. She's not crying again. So she is warming up the bottle. Oh, 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 I don't want to skip it because it might not pop up again. I don't think they would go together. I feel like she'd be like, Hey, I'm just going to go. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I just, I don't know. So now she's getting the bottle ready, but she's going to be leaving. So he's going to have to get up and take care of her for sure. Okay. So yeah, she's going to her postpartum checkup. Dude, you have to go to work in an hour anyways. You best be getting up. And also, okay, so he, this is in her inventory. I'm going to get that out really fast. And then, I mean, yeah, he's going to have to get up. So we're going to get you up. And then we're going to go ahead and feed formula milk because she is starving and yeah he may not be the best dad but oh okay so Esme's postpartum checkup went well the doctor's pleased with how well Esme feels about parenting and the healing process being a new parent oh okay <laughs> Esme is currently hyper focused and won't interact with other sims and they will interact with her in this state it's a great time to build some skills oh I love that okay being a <laughs> A new parent is exciting, but it can also be stressful. If Esme ever needs it, help's available. In the meantime, try to enjoy this new life. So she's doing well. You're sad. Is anyone there? Oh my goodness. Okay. He's there. So she's feeling focused right now. Esme feels hyper-focused. It's a great time to get stuff done and be productive. I love that actually. Like, love, love, love that. Okay. So she's going to go ahead and oh, we can just poop. Go poop. <laughs> go do that thing. What is that from? because it's a strawberry. Is it slice of life? I don't know you guys. Like I haven't done my review yet. I just put it in my game. And so I haven't really like, read over like anything new with it. So <laughs> that's funny. Alrighty. Uh, after, well, see, he really needs to go. Oh God. I think that is slice of life from what I can remember. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> So since she's feeling productive, um, I think she'd want to cook some food. Honestly, I want her to be like productive, productive, like get things done, but she's hungry. <laughs> so, and I mean, to be honest, cooking up a nice meal does take some, you know, you got to be feeling somewhat productive or else you're just going to want to like sit down and like order some food. I think she's going to want to make some banana split waffles. That sounds delicious. And then he has to go to work like so soon. So, uh, we're gonna, we need to hurry up and use the bathroom. I mean, if he doesn't have time, he'll just kind of leave to work and use the bathroom there. It's whatever. Um, I don't think it really matters that his hygiene is kind of low because, um, he's going to go work out anyways. We could have him go a little late to be honest. Like he's not just like auto going. So like <laughs> he can go to the bathroom. We can actually get him a shower too. But so far, this is not like the worst thing in the world. I'm really eager to go back to the other household because I want to see like what's going on now that he's officially moved out. And like, basically like Araya is going to come home to her dad being moved out. And I think that is going to be like really interesting. Um, I don't know, like she knows he's moving out, but she obviously doesn't know exactly when. And so, yeah, I think that'll be interesting. All right. So this is done. We're going to go ahead and grab food. She is starving and I don't know how long they stay hyper-focused. I actually wish it's at a time frame. Like that's so cool to me. Um, do you have a dirty diaper? Oh my God. He keeps getting more new likes, but he hasn't like had a chance to check them. So 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and go to, oh no, wait, let's actually change her here. So let's change her diaper after she eats some food. And then I really want to like start teaching her some stuff. I think that is maybe where she's gonna put her hyper focus into. Yeah. Dude, are you eating too? Like you need to get to work. I mean, sure. <laughs> Go late. He is also dry and itchy. I'm gonna make you suffer with that dry and itchy skin, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can go to work. All right. So he's off. He didn't even really finish his waffles, but makes sense. Makes sense. Why did you just, you didn't even change her diaper. Like what? Change her diaper. You still didn't eat. <laughs> She's all over the place. Okay, so he's off to work. Can she not get to this? Maybe not. Yeah, I'm thinking that she can't get to that. That's weird. Because, like, it's right here. Like, okay. I don't know. I prefer it there. But I guess it's fine. Either that or it's just being weird for no reason. I don't know. Like, see, I don't like that. <laughs> I like it to be like even, but I'm just going to see if it works. Um, let's see. If not, I'm just going to change her diaper. But yeah, there's some other stuff I want to go over with. What the heck? That is so weird. Okay, just change it. Just change it. I don't know what's going on. Does anyone else? Is that a glitch? There's a lot of glitches right now. Okay, just change her diaper like that. Dude, what? You still can't change her diaper? Is this for real right now? Is it even dirty? Does she need a bath? Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on, to be honest. <laughs> Honestly, she should get her first bath, right? Yeah, let's give her a bubble bath. Let's just do that. Oh, Huxton is attempting to deadlift a new personal best and is achingly close to getting the barbell off the ground. Though he usually frowns at other sims who grunt and shriek at the gym, this time Huxton thinks that it might just give him the push he needs. We're gonna scream. We got a performance gain. Okay, at least you got one good thing going for you. <laughs> I literally feel like that is like the one thing that he does well with. What? That was like the fastest bath of your life, but at least we got the first bath milestone unlocked. I mean, hey, is she officially? Okay, there's no more stink around her. Thank you. Let's go ahead and go over here. You are starving. So I'm gonna let her eat first. You gotta hurry up and eat your food and then, oh no. Let's actually, yeah, let's give her that. I kinda wanna experience that. We need to get one of those thingies. Should we get one? So we can do like tummy time and stuff. I wish that was like kind of like a peachy color, but I feel like, yeah, there's either like straight up pink or we have like straight up orange, which I do think this matches better. So I'm gonna get this. Yeah, do I want it there like, I feel like that is the best spot, even though it's like right at the doorway. I just feel like that's like, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to do that. Okay. I'm not even going to have her finish eating. We got to hurry. And then let's put Huxley here. So she stops crying. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. She is struggling with her gut. Gurgling gut gripes from eating recently. The battle of the bug rages on in Esme's gut with every gurgle signaling a call to arms or rather a call to the bathroom. Oh God. It's going to be a long day of strategic planning and multiple bathroom camp campaigns. Oh no. Trash overload. Oh no. <laughs> okay. We just had a baby. We will deal with it. Okay. 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 Um, we will deal with it. I promise. It's not that bad. We have a diaper over here. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do some stuff. Oh God, oh God, okay. We're gonna do some tummy time together. Hopefully her tummy's okay. Girl, girl. Oh, we also have some more stuff going on. TikTok, TikTok, Esme is just so bored. It's like time is moving so slowly. Why can't she get into anything? And then we also have sleepless. This is also from, her, okay, this is from her medication too. But she is feeling confident and we're gonna do some tummy time. Aww. Look at her go. Oh, oh, I say that as she just like gets frustrated with it. Oh my goodness, stop. You got this. Oh my God, I always feel so bad at like the beginning of the tummy time stuff because they struggle so much. I'm just like, oh, my heart my heart you're doing it yay okay let's get her also just kind of like looking at the toys and stuff you know since we won't be spending every episode with her we do want to make sure to like just you know have her progress as much as she can we're planning to spend some casual friend time together should i do it sure should we do it one more time i don't know she'll get frustrated but i think we should like oh my pride and joy from watching Milestone. Wait, oh, reach Milestone Unlocked. Yay. All right. So we're making some progress already. She literally <laughs> cannot stop farting, girl. See, I already feel like, see, okay. Although like she definitely still has issues going on. Like she 
is just i don't know i feel like well see it's it's like she should know but also she's just kind of like she's kind of letting herself fall into like the brainwashing of huxton oh my god she already got the lift head too look at her but yeah i i don't know i feel like motherhood is already like kind of changing her a little bit i feel like this is a moment that i need to capture i definitely think she looks like esme like a lot like when i see her in game yeah i'm seeing esme and obviously she got esme's hair color you guys i just captured this moment Moment and I am literally crying. You guys, I decided to get a picture. Esme is taking a picture of her right now and it is so cute. She's being blocked a little bit, but you know what? Oh my god, I love that this is a thing. Like, <laughs> I want to get actual pictures of her, like, with the regular like in-game camera no like <laughs> how freaking precious okay we'll just go ahead and grab a couple more and we're definitely gonna have to what why are you here honestly i don't know but clearly something's wrong and he's just like making himself at home <laughs> <laughs> but uh they're gonna chat a little bit oh and huxton is officially home oh my god <laughs> on the road to fame okay she cannot stop farting <laughs> <sighs> okay we're gonna throw this away we really need to like start throwing away some trash around here it's a mess like yeah and i i don't know why he did he leave i don't know where he went he's home now so honestly you oh no wait she fell asleep okay <laughs> You guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. I feel like there's so much going on right now with this household. What do you think about like all the girls he's seeing? Oh, actually, before we wrap it up, hold on. Hold on. We're going to go ahead and have a conversation, I think, with one of our matches. Oh my god, like look at all of these matches. Isn't that crazy? Who do you guys think he would go and like hook up with next? I honestly don't even know. I feel like he has a wide range of, you know, what type of girls are his type. Like he he's definitely not picky at all. So I feel like all of these girls are his type. Like I'm just talking looks wise because honestly, like does he care about anything else? I don't think so. <laughs> So a lot of these girls, yeah, everything's like kind of equal. So I don't even think it really matters. I love that her name is Lolita De La Cruz. Like, okay, <laughs> we're going to talk to her. And you are currently feeling really angry because she is so tired. So like, honestly, and then you're feeling very sad. I just feel like he's like, he, he doesn't, I mean, he should know how to be a dad. <laughs> let's be real here because uh he's been a dad you know he's been through this whereas esme hasn't but he i don't know i feel like he's just being so weird but he's feeding her so that's good i mean i don't think that's what she wanted <laughs> like she wants to go to bed like that's all she wants like she you really yeah, don't need yeah, to feed her no. like to be honest so yeah you do you dude but let's go ahead and get her in this crib she's gonna take a nap but yeah i feel like <laughs> How do you even end an episode from here? I feel like there's so much going on. As much as I want to just stay here and like continue the storyline, the next episode, we're probably going to be back over with Avely. Self-soother. Okay, that's good. Oh, I enjoy our conversation. Ooh. Okay, let's meet, but outside. That's exactly what he would say. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Clearly, this means this is what's going to be going down for the next episode. What do you guys think? think like he's really stirring esme along and i feel like it's super super selfish of him if this freezes right now like some people are having this issue and i swear to god okay we're fine so i don't know do you think he would stay here because there's obviously no i think we would go somewhere else i don't know i think he'd be scared that like someone's gonna see him do we go somewhere here or do we go like to oasis springs or something i had a dream that we got another world that was like oasis springs 2.0 which like i would not be mad at <laughs> i mean there's like there's this lounge we could try going here i don't know if it'll be the vibe but we're gonna go there so in the next episode we're gonna kind of see what happens here oh we are dressed up okay <laughs> oh she's so pretty she's really really pretty you guys we got another light oh my god okay we're gonna wrap this up here what do you guys think is gonna go down with this girl let me know and with that said i hope you all enjoyed i hope you guys are having an amazing day and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys In the streets and the cities on fire